tell me why you're interested in this. I saw the superhuman documentary with my kids. Ah. And the youngest was interested in the telekinesis. At the time, she was too young to be playing with needles and foil and <laughs> erasers. So I said, let's pick something else to practice. And she said, well, we want to blindfold C. So we purchased the Carol and Corey recorded class and I did it with them. And okay. the youngest, I mean, she was able to see as soon as this came from Amazon. Sure. She opened the box, put it on, waited a minute. And she's like, I see sparkles and I see this. And then she was ready. Uh, it took yeah. a little longer for my teenager. Um, she had to have super bright, but yeah. I haven't been able to spend the time or have a partner. And it's been, you know, more about how can I keep them interested? Okay, well, why don't we get started? Do you have your blindfold mask there? I do. Tighten it up a little bit, but you don't want to make it super tight either. Yeah. There's different ways that you can get the different colors, symbols, letters, and all that stuff. Typically with colors, it's a haze or a flash or a jagged line or something. You might hear the word of the color. You might feel the energy of it. You say, I can't really see the color, but it feels like red. I don't know why. Feeling is part of your right brain. If it's not coming through one channel or one path to you, it'll come through another. So there's different ways it's going to give it to you through your intuitive mindset or intuition. And your intuition is stronger when you can get your left brain quiet. I've got three colors. I've got an orange. I've got a pink and I've got like a lime green and I'm going to hold one up in your screen. Just tell me if you have a sense of which one of the three colors it is, Jennifer. So there's no judgment on whether you get things correct or not. It doesn't matter. It's just reporting what you are seeing or feeling or sensing. Which one of the three colors do you feel, sense, or see that it is? Move your head around because we have a beam of attention or intention and we don't know where it's pointing. Could be coming out from the sides, could be coming out from under your chin. So move your head around and at some point your beam of intention or attention will go across the screen like a scanner and it will pick up the color. Is there any sense of which the three it is? The orange, the pink, or the green? That's the lime green. Okay, lift your mask up a little bit, just real quick, and take a look. There you go. Ah. Very good. So congratulations on that. See, when you get quiet, all of these things come through naturally and automatically. Let's go back to the colors. I'm going to shuffle them under the desk here. Just go empty. Let go of everything. No judgment. No thinking. Go more to feeling. Refeel how cool it was when I said lift your mask up and you verified that it was green. And while you're on that feeling, I'm holding a card up, a colored card. It's one of the three. Could be the same, could be different. It's either orange, pink, or green. If you hear the sound, let go and no concentration whatsoever, Jennifer. Go empty, completely empty. So as I'm talking, you may have gotten a flash of color or a light haze, a very subtle, subtle haze, but no concentration. Just notice if there's something that appeared. Sometimes it keeps coming back. You might get a flash of a bright color. I used to have that all the time. You might get a knowing. You may say, oh, I, I feel it. I don't know why I feel it's this color. Don't know why I'm saying that. I just have this sense. You may hear the word itself. You may see the word of the color. You may see the actual color as a haze or a flash. Only let go. Go empty. And which one of the three colors feels correct? Put your mask up real quick. There you go. There's seven different symbols. Square, circle, triangle, open or close. That's six. And then there's the plus. I'm going to shuffle them up under the table so that I don't influence this in any way. I'm going to reach into the middle, grab one, putting the others on the floor, and I'm putting it in your screen. You may have got a sense of what it was the second I grabbed it or as it goes in your screen. One of the seven symbols, Jennifer. Again, it doesn't matter if you don't get it. We always give you encouragement no matter what happens. No thinking with your intellectual brain. Just let it appear which one of the seven is it. Let go. It's a square. And now, is it open or closed? Open means white in the middle? That's right, yes. Yeah, open. Okay, lift your mask up. Take a look. 
Ah. Yeah. Very good on getting the fact that it was an open square. This is very advanced stuff, but you want to do this abbreviated intense session. We're doing it. I have picture cards, Jennifer. They're just cards for children to learn different objects, and they're just colored drawings. This one is a leaf, and I'm showing it in your screen. It's a green leaf, and it says the word leaf at the top in lower case. The cards have a reddish pink border around the outside. They're white cards with the drawing on it and the word at the top. Visualize seeing a green leaf. It's like an oval which closes at the top. This one is the orange pumpkin. It says the word pumpkin at the top in lower case in black. The third card is the red pants. No zipper, there's no belt. It's just a pair of pants that are sort of standing up on the card. It says the word pants at the top. Shuffling those three cards, Jennifer. You tell me when to stop. Can I stop? Okay, I stopped and I'm gonna grab the top card. I don't know what it is yet. It's under the table. Putting the others on the floor and throwing the card in your screen. It is one of the three. Leaf. Lift your mask up. Take a look. There you go. We have a, two, and she. I'm gonna shuffle them up under the table. I stop shuffling and I want you to tell me, Jennifer, will I take the top card, the middle card, or the bottom card? Uh, bottom card. Okay. Taking the bottom card, the other two are going on the floor. The card is going in your screen. There it is. You could either sense it, you could feel it, you could know it. You may get in your visual field one, two, or three of the letters, they're lowercase. You may get part of a letter or letters. You may see one letter clearly and no others. Totally let go. Just report what is coming to you in the same way. You go up to the window and look out and you just report to me what you're seeing. You are not making it happen. You're just reporting as a passive observer. I feel like she. Lift your mask up. Huh. There you go. Now okay. tell me why you said she. It just felt like she. The other ones just didn't feel right. I actually thought, oh, when I said the bottom one, I said, oh, the bottom one's she. But it can't be she because he shuffled them. <laughs> like I was, I, I felt she when I said bottom one. Yep, there you go. I thought, well, how can I be guessing already? Yeah, that's know. called remote viewing. That's why, you know, I'll try to do it out of sight, but you have so many intuitive powers connected to your mind site. And one of them is remote viewing. Quite often, you will get the card before I even put it to the screen. Because in that case, you could have actually gone to my hand, to the bottom card, and it's like, what's in his hand? And your, your remote viewing will see it. And you've already got it before I even know myself and bring it up to the screen to show you. That's called remote viewing. You can do it. You will be doing it. You likely just did do it inadvertently and unknowingly. I've got a clear plastic box from the dollar store. In it, you can hear there's four balls rolling around. There's a green ball, a blue ball, a yellow ball, and a red ball. I'm going to put them under my table. I'm going to mix them around so I have no idea what ball is where. I want you to tell me, as I look into that box, Take the top left, the bottom left, the top right, or the bottom right. Which ball shall I take? Top right. Okay, I'm going to take the top right. I'm putting the others to the floor. And it's one of green, red, blue, or yellow, and it's in your screen. Which one is it? Red. Lift your mask up. Take a look. Uh -huh. I felt, it, I felt it first before I told you where it's like red. Where's the red? I, just, uh, I didn't even think about top right. It just came out. I didn't even yeah, think. your mind site saw where the red was. That's why it told you top right to grab. Wow. Very good. This is really hard, really difficult, and I don't expect you to get it. These are just things to help stretch your mind site to get things started. I'm shuffling a set of playing cards. There's 52 cards. You want me to grab the top one? bottom one, or one randomly from the middle? Randomly. Okay, randomly I'm reaching into the middle, putting the others down on the floor, away from your wandering remote viewing, putting the card in your screen. Totally let go, go empty, do not try to think or logically reason it out in any way. Mindsight is just about sensing and feeling. 
Look around. Remember, you've got your beam. So pass the beam across the middle of the screen. I'll move the card back. Your beam of attention or intention is there. And let's just scan it across the screen. Which Jay keeps coming, but it, like, it won't go away. Which suit is it? Diamond. Yes, it is diamond. When you said Jay, lift your mask up because look at the bottom of the card. Uh interesting so i'm actually going to give that to you when you said j you were seeing the upside down seven that's what the mindset does when you're first learning it will confuse and it will associate it's like an m it doesn't know if it's an m or a w so we allow it we give it because it doesn't know it doesn't know about upside down and right side up same with this so when you said a j you didn't say jack you said a j because your mind sight was seeing that shape, which is like a J. Okay, very good on that. I'm taking one of the colored dice and putting it in your screen. Go empty, see the dot or dots on it. You may have a sense, you may have a knowing, you may see the pattern, you may get the actual number as a written digit, you may hear the number, it may come as your own voice. You may just get a sense of knowing that you don't know where it comes from, but it just feels to be something. It keeps feeling like three. Okay, you're out by one. Try again. That is a common thing you'll see in the videos that people will have time after time after time. The mindset is gives it out by one. And that's a game the mindset likes to play. What is the actual number? Four. Put your mask up. There you go. Okay, very good. This is player's choice. I've got the colored balls, the playing cards, I got the word cards, I've got the picture cards, colored dice, symbols, colored cards, the Nikolai card, the pool, table balls. All the toys. Your choice. The picture cards. Okay. And tell me what you would like to do with the picture cards. What is the game? What is the task? Maybe lay three down and then pick one. Okay. I'm going to just take three out of the middle. One, two, three. There's the yellow duck. You've got the uh, sort of grayish, whitish colored egg. You've got the brown rabbit with the lighter brown ears. So it's one of those three. You go by the color. You go by the shape. You might see part or all of the word. Which one of the three picture cards is it? Jennifer, it's in your screen. Let go entirely. Scan around. If your head up could be under your chin, that's quite a common for people that are starting out. Was with my niece, Danny. Which card does it feel like? Or you can see the color. It shows up as a haze. Or you see the word. Or you just know. You can feel it. No judgment. There's no critical thinking. No talk. No dialogue. No opinions. Just report as a passive observer. That's it. Grab it. Take your mask right off. Ah. You got it. Well done, Jennifer. Well done. Okay. It's been a fantastic session. And, you know, I was throwing at you everything, you know, that people don't normally do for weeks. But we only have the hour. Yeah, yeah. Like, you try it. If nothing else, it pushes you forward. It stretches your mindset. Yeah. But when you take the attitude you don't care, the mindset can give it to you, even if it's the first time you're trying it. Yeah, I mean, I worked up a lot because I've been wanting to do what my kids do because it's so amazing. You know, my husband comes up with games with gummy bears and Nerf guns, you know, and they have so much fun. I think, wow. I'm going to have a lot of fun putting the video together on this one.